left off last time. The only thing I did in between videos was uh, I went back and uh, we imported this image before for our tux. I went and clicked this little um, package button there and that embeds that image into our Blender file. Uh, so that way we can have pretty much our at least the majority of our game all in one blend file and we're going to do that for pretty much all our graphics. It makes the blend file larger but it also makes just shipping and packaging and working with it a bit easier. So all I did was click that icon to unpa uh, package that in and then save the file. Okay, so video two. What are we going to do now? Let's create some walls for this penguin to knock over. So let's just create a cube. Spacebar, type in cube, add a cube. We'll scale it down and then scale it up like so. And in the, um, as we move on, we're going to create different types of materials or uh, cube uh, wall objects that react different to the penguins, whether they just get knocked over or you can break through them or different things will happen to them. This is going to be a basic knock over. When the penguin hits this, we're going to knock it over. So here we're going to uh, add some physics to it. We don't want it to be static. We're going to make it uh, dynamic for right now. We're going to make it a box. And now if we line up our view and go back into textured mode here, we can hit P and hit spacebar. Boom, I hit that. And you notice it kind of slid, and that's because I chose dynamic and I should have chose rigid. Now, when I hit it, boom, you can see it falls over. Okay. So let's build a little wall here, uh, a little building here. I'm going to hit Shift D, move that over, Shift D, move it up right there. Rotate it 90 degrees. Let's grab all three of these. Shift D on the X axis, move that over. Shift D, move it up there. And now we can hit P to play. Boom. We're coming along quite well with our pissed off penguins game here. Great. So now let's um, see about uh, limiting the uh, number of penguins we have. Uh, let's just start off by limiting it to three. And later on, we're going to add different types of penguins that may have other functionality to them. Uh, so before we got rid of in our logic editor, that little sidebar, if we hit N, it will bring it back. We're going to give that uh, empty object a property. And we're going to call it birds. We're going to make it an integer. And we're going to set it to 3, or the number of birds we want to have on this level. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say every time the spacebar is pressed, we're going to create this object, and we're going to change the property. And we're going to say our property of birds is going to be birds minus 1. So every time we hit spacebar, that number should go down. Now if I hit this I here, uh, that if you hover over it, it says uh, print debug information for this property. And if we uh, go up here, uh, we can say um, show debug properties. And so we should be able to see that number while we're playing. So it's a little debug while we're developing. I can hit P and you can see up in the left corner of our view here, it says empty birds uh, equals three. Our empty object has a property of birds and it equals three. And if we hit space bar, it became hard to see. That might be a glitch in 2.6. Ah, now it says two. And now it should be one. And now we can keep shooting. Now we have to change it so that once we get to zero, it will no longer shoot. So we already have a property when we hit spacebar and something. Well, we have nothing else. We can add another sensor. We can say property. We can say when our property of birds is not equal to zero. So now, every time we hit spacebar, that number should go down until it hits zero, and then we should shoot no more birds, and it should stay at zero. 
So we'll hit spacebar. We shot one, shot two, shot three. Oh, we can't shoot anymore. And as you can see up there in the corner, our empty birds is zero. So at this point, I can hit escape. I'm going to save this. And that's it for this tutorial. We're moving quite along. Blender allows for rapid uh, 3D and 2D in this case. It's still 3D, but it's, it's more of a 2D game uh, development. And we're going to have more coming at you soon. Thanks for watching. And visit filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K.